Now, what, what does your factory testing process look like to make sure that the battery, the inverter, all that's talking together before this unit ever makes it out to the field? Yeah, uh, everything. It's 100% outdoor rated, NEMA 3R rated box, uh, and so you know, rated for complete outdoors uh, for you know for our single and our double bay units that we, that we manufacture. You know, if there's a problem with the Revolt box, Revolt is going to fix it, right? It's not going to be, you know, a battery manufacturer pointing at an inverter manufacturer or vice versa. You know, we're going to take it out and fix that and support our, our, our partner network to do that. Hi, everyone. Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge. And today we're coming to you from RE Plus in Texas, uh, the international solar conference here that's regional uh, to the state of Texas. And uh, this morning I'm joined by Josh Weaver, executive vice president of Revolt, and we're looking at the Revolt home power plant. So Josh, it's good to see you. Thanks for joining us this morning. Thanks, Joe. Thanks for having us uh, today. And uh, we're excited to, to display our Revolt uh, home power plant here and uh, explain to you what, the, what it is for the installers that can help them uh, getting their installation more efficient, more effective, um, and more repeatable uh, for them. And that's really what we focus on here at Revolt. Excellent. Well, I'm going to have a lot of questions for you about how all this works, but I know when we first got connected a couple of weeks ago and I became aware of your product and really what I see as a new category of product where, especially when you're talking about off the grid systems or, or systems that have the capability of running independent of the grid, having that in more of a pre-built factory integrated format so that the contractor is not having to piece everything together on site, which can really bog you down. I know for me as a, as a contractor, that's one of the things that, that really killed us whenever we would have to pour a concrete pad or, or assemble a shed and then frame out a shed on site before we can mount our solar equipment. We wanted to kind of just get to mounting our solar equipment, make our connections, and then move on to the next project. A lot of times when you have to get into general construction, that can really slow things down. So tell us a little bit about the approach that you all took to designing your product. Why did you assemble the Revolt system the way that you did? And what are the major components that, that, that comprise the solution here? Yeah, so the Revolt system is a DC connected solution. Um, it integrates inverter, battery, and then a lot of other switch gear that you need, like as part of a regular solar, you know, solar installation. So what we did is we, we saw in the market that we saw, you know, we saw a lot of um, companies out there that were putting the pieces and parts together, right? They have an inverter, they have a battery, but then, then what, right? You, you buy a trough, you put it on the wall, you have to ring terminal here, ferrule there, you know, and that creates extra trips, right, to, to, a, to an electrical contractor or, or to, to a distributor to go pick those things up. So what we, what we decided is like, we need to make this plug and play. Like we need to make battery storage truly a plug and play system, right? So you can come to the site with just your wire, some conduit and you're done, right? So we, we make it just simple electrical connections. You don't have to worry about like putting the battery and inverter together. You know, the first time we, we don't want the first time uh, that you connect the battery and inverter together to be like the first time that that, that ever happens. If we do all that for you in the factory so you can know that it's just gonna work right, right on site. Right? You're, um, if it's Friday and it's two o'clock and you're trying to get out of there and you still have to commission the project, like it's gonna get done and you're gonna get out of there and you're not gonna have to come back the next week. Uh, and like that's, we think that's a huge value to the industry uh, and what's been missing. And that's really what put us in the path for putting all together these pieces and pieces and parts, so um, we we use we use premium parts in the market. So we're using the Solar converter, uh, typically using the Solar 15K with its 200 amp pass through, pass -through capacity, uh, and then we integrate a couple different battery manufacturers. We use Discover Energy Systems um, as, as our primary battery manufacturer, um, and then Pites as well, uh, depending on the region of the country um, and, and and what the environmental factors are, uh, because we're very concerned about making sure that. When it's zero degrees and you need to pull from the battery, those batteries are going to be able to, that's going to happen. That's what we have to be concerned about, putting this all outside. Uh, and so we put, we've put we taken all that into account and uh, there's you know, active heating, uh, active cooling in the system uh, so that we can really work these systems up to like about 120 Fahrenheit and then down to negative 20 Fahrenheit. And so, uh, and we've actually seen our systems go down to like negative 48 in Montana. Uh, so so it's you know very robust system system. Great. Well, I'm going to definitely have some more questions about that. Can we show the audience here sure. the, ma the major components that make up, up the solution just to get an idea? So you mentioned you got your Solar converter. This this is a Solar 15, right? Yep. This particularly, this is the Solar 15K inverter here. Um, and then we have all of our internal loads and switch gear or all of our internal loads built into here. So you have a nice convenience outlet. You know, that can save you. That saves you, you know, a lot. And good. Oh, man, I need 120. Well, it's right here. 
you know, and then you also have thermostats for controlling of the heating. This is the active cooling fan here. The heater is also in behind here. That's a pad, not, or a, a little a little pad heater that keeps things warm, as well as our battery vendors also have integrated heating as well uh, to keep us to keep us nice and warm inside. Of them. Right. Okay. So I see you're using the Pites, Pites battery storage system here. And I know that's, that's a uh, product that we've covered before. In fact, if you haven't seen the video, go back and check out the previous video we did on the Pites battery, uh, where we did show how it can uh, integrate with the Solark solution. Uh, now, in terms of uh, weather, weatherproofing here, you talked a little bit about heating to make sure that the system will operate even in extreme cold temperatures. I, I assume this is all 100% outdoor rated, wet location? Yeah, uh, everything, it's 100% outdoor rated, NEMA 3R rated box. Uh, and so, you know, rated for complete outdoors uh, for, you know, for our single and our double bay units that we, that we manufacture. Great, great. Now, well, again, folks, and especially for you out there that are installers, you know that back in the day, you know, when you had to assemble a system like this, basically you had to piece all this together on site. You had to assemble your shed. A lot of times you had to you had to reinforce the framing on that shed so that it could it could handle the weight. And then you're going to hang your inverter on the wall. You might have to mount your batteries on the ground or wall mount your batteries. And assembling all that together on site can be very, very costly than having a, a factory pre-integrated solution. So I think it's one of those things where it's like you're going to pay a little bit up front or you're going to pay a lot more in, in labor and, and additional truck rolls if you have to t you know, take the risk of piecing all these things together. And then, like you said, hoping everything works when you finally plug it together. Now, what does what your factory testing process look like to make sure that the battery, the inverter, all that's talking together before this unit ever makes it out to the field? Yeah, good question. So everything is everything is pre-wired and pre-configured. You're not seeing this here. So this is just our demo unit. But all the power is configured. All the communications are, are, are done. The whole system is set up so and started up. So the batteries are started up. The inverter is started up. We power one four or two forty to the unit for the AC for the grid inside, and then we preset all the settings based off like six regional, you know, six regional areas in the country. And so, like, we utilize the time of use based off of where you are. And so, you can be really confident that when you get there, it's going to be set up for. Texas, or it's going to be set up um, for New Hampshire, where you know wherever you know wherever you are in the country, it's going to be set up properly for that. For that. So everything when you when it comes to you, you can be assured that all these batteries have been turned on with the inverter, and they have been communicated. They're they're being communicating you know together. Um, what we also do, which is really nice, is we pre-integrate a cell phone modem for you um, that is already has a SIM card in it. So as soon as this thing gets online and you hook up solar, I can now see it immediately online or a customer service team can see it immediately online and start helping you if you need any help during the installation. Uh, and so we offer that as a service with one year of paid subscription for, for cell phone to keep get you up and running and online as soon as you install the soon, which is, which is, which is a big value add in, in a lot of cases. Great. Okay. So we've got our, all of our major solar and storage and switching components pre-integrated. Yes. So let me make sure I understand this correctly. So basically you drop the unit on site. You connect your solar, you connect your generator optionally, connect your loads, right? Whatever the house loads to be powered. And then optionally, you can connect it to the grid as well. Is that, is that right? That's correct. That's correct. So there's 200, 200 non-fuse disconnect that is as part of the system for the grid in. Um, that can be grid or generator or grid and generator. Um, and then all the MPPTs of the Solark are pre-wired out to um, outside uh, PV disconnects. And then on the load out of the system, you have a full 200 amp distribution panel, uh, as well as an on-site power plug. So if you want to immediately plug your RV in, you can plug your RV in right away, um, or any on-site for construction. You know, we get a lot of folks that like buy a piece of land and they say, the first thing I need is power, right? So they'll buy this, they'll have immediate power, and then they build their house off using the revolt system. All right, so Josh, we're looking at some of the some of the switchgear and the connection points here. Kind of walk us through what are the major connection points? This looks like this is your 200 amp. A uh, transfer switch, or what are we looking at? Here? Yeah, this is going to be the grid or generator in here. So the customer is going to come in and land right here. This is where we originate a bypass uh, for the unit, so you can actually bypass this box, and we can go over that on the load side of the system. But if you have a grid and generator connection, you're going to want to come in here, land on these, uh, land on these Polaris lugs. And if you have a generator connection, there's always a, there's already a pre hole for you to slide the generator connection in, so you can do grid and generator as well. So this would be the grid in or grid and generator inside uh, this box of the system. You also have the solar in, in, in here. So um, the solar can either come in from the, from the bottom or from the top. 
Um, and this is divided out by NPPT. So if you have like three separate roof services that you're doing, you would just bring each three separate roof service into each separate NPPT here. And then this is our communications box where we bring out all the Wi-Fi and all the things out. So since we're in a metal box, we're gonna bring everything out into a, a, a box to let, let the signal free, I guess so. Yeah, no, no, it makes sense, but it also keeps everything kind of nice and clean for the installer. So you land your, a, your AC input here, whether it's AC in from the grid or from the generator. Yes. Uh, and then you've got your DC input here up to, do you know, is it up to 600 volts? Um, it's a, it'd be up to 500 volts uh, on the on the 15K um, uh, per, per strip. So uh, 20 amps each. Okay, so up to 20 amps or 500 volts DC each, all, all that can land right here on the outside of the unit. And then as far as the outputs, what, what are we looking at as far as outputs on the other side? So on the output side of the unit, we've got a 200 amp distribution panel with a main circuit uh, that has uh, a manual bypass built into that distribution panel. Uh, there are feed through lugs on the bottom part of the unit where you just land your, your load out that goes right to the main panel of the home. Uh, and then you also have your uh, connection for your uh, RV plug or, or your construction plug. Uh, right there as well. Great, great. So Josh, I know one question a lot of a lot of contractors, a lot of installers are going to have out there is, okay, so how much does this unit cost? Yeah, so they start out at around twenty thousand uh, dollars for the for units that are battery ready, um, up and then they go all the way up to if you're going up to eighty kilowatt hours of storage, they can go up to like seventy five thousand dollars. That would be like two full, you know, solar fifteen k's with up to eighty kilowatt hours of storage. So it does range, but I'd say. The typical price is going to be in the mid 20s when you include the average amount of battery storage that you're going to use with a single box configuration. Um, and then in the mid 40s for double box configurations with two 15K solar arcs, and that'd be 100 amps of off-grid service. So, so if you have a big home that's off-grid, we mostly do modularize this out to a double box and that would be you know, in, the, in the mid 40s for, for those ranges. Makes sense. Yeah, I mean, for me, if I look at having the factory integrated solution, I don't, I don't see so much of the, the, the savings as, oh, I'm going to save because I buy all the, the equipment in, in one transaction. I, I see the savings on the labor, the time on site, and then the, the risk of me having to modify, you know, do some sort of custom modification of the property's electrical system, as opposed to just having something that can more, more cleanly just set it and forget it, plug and play and then move on to the next job. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think the repeatability nature of it, you know, like, yeah, like our price point would be a little higher than cobbling all these parts together. But I think as you, you know, as you learn the system, as you now can be confident in like, I'm going to get out of here in a day or I'm going to get out of here in less than a day or, um, you know, I, I know that this system is going to work or it's been factory tested already. I think there's a lot of peace of mind to installers um, at, at that at that way. And also that, you know, if there's a problem with the Revolt box, Revolt is going to fix it, right? It's not going to be, you know, a battery manufacturer pointing at an inverter manufacturer manufacturer or vice versa, you know, we're going to take that on and fix that and support our, our, our partner network to do that. Well, that was going to be my next question. So I'm glad you brought that up because that was the other one of the most frustrating things I can remember as an, as an early stage solar and storage installer was if the overall system isn't working, oftentimes you have this finger pointing between the inverter manufacturer and the battery manufacturer because their two products aren't communicating. And if that means they're not communicating, it means the system is not working, right? So how does the warranty service process look like with Revolt sort of stepping up as the overall systems integrator? Um, what does it look like if, if, a, if a system owner or if an installer has to make a warranty claim or get technical support? Yeah, so if they get technical support, they'll contact us directly, whether it's, whether whatever the problem is, right? So they're gonna say, they're gonna say, my like I said, my problem is in the Revolt box, Revolt is gonna solve it. Right? So if you have a warranty claim on any of the inside parts, like the manufacturer's warranties are gonna come through, but we will handle that for you, right? So so we are going to be the ones that are going to ship out, a, you know, a, a replacement battery or a replacement inverter, and we're going to handle that for you, and then handle all the warranty on the back end with our vendors, right? So, so it's it's like this one throat to choke philosophy for us that allows uh, installers to be confident in, in a person that actually knows the solution, you know, that they don't just know their individual part of the project, um, which can be really helpful, I believe, to, to installers. Yeah, I, I think that having that one throat to choke, <laughs> we need a better term for that, but <laughs> but but having that one throat to choke really does help in terms of consistency of customer experience, right? Yeah. Because you, you can avoid that whole finger pointing phase and just get, get straight to a solution. Yeah. Uh, final question for you. So if there, let's say a potential system owner or an installer out there, they want to get more information, they want to get one of the units, where can they go to, to get their hands on this? Yeah, we, we love to work directly with our partner relationships uh, and, and help them support it directly. So come straight to revolt.us. 
um, and they can you know reach out with our partner installation form, um, and we can get our information and our uh, our direct employees will get in contact with them and start building a relationship with them. Um, so they're they're more than welcome to buy directly from us uh, from the partner level. Um, DIY customers as well, we will work directly with DIYers. So um, we will provide them with an engineered plan set for their system. We won't provide the full system. We just provide the revolt box, but we'll at least engineer like their their panels and their racking and give them a stamped plan set um, so that they can have something to follow on site. Uh, and so, you know, we are we are interested in working direct with end users as well. Excellent, excellent. And we're going to have more to, to share about that on the channel, folks. So that, that is another another method of going solar that we're seeing emerge where the homeowner or the system owner themselves can, can directly purchase them, the equipment and in some cases get their own plan sets drawn up. You're still going to need to use the, the, the help of a licensed qualified electrician to make certain high voltage connections, but it, I think it allows a little bit more control for the owner, uh, both in terms of controlling the cost and controlling the equipment selection and just making sure that they're getting the best value for their dollar. So Josh, is there anything else that the audience should know about your company, your solution, or, or this new category of all-in-one home power plants? Yeah, I just really think that you know installers need to value their time, right? They need to value their time on site, and they need to really be, be looking at the additional cost that that incurs, right? If it's an extra truck roll, if it's an extra time going to CES, or you know, if it's an extra time to any any distributor, like that's time that they need to account for, right? And, and that is leaked away from margin on jobs, and, and I think. When 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 those when they start to look at that and say, look, I'm really losing a lot of money, like going back again and doing this. That's when they can look at our products and see the value um, in what it offers them as a solution that is repeatable every single time they go out to site. For multi-state partners, you know, they're when they're building a project in Illinois, it's the same exact thing as if they're building one in Arkansas or they're building one in New Hampshire, right? So it's the same thing. It's the same one line. It's the same installation manual. It's a, it's the same thing for them every single time. And it's really something that installers can, you know, come to our factory, build up a process on how to install it, and really then go implement that as like a as something that they're doing on every single site around the country. And I think that there's a tremendous value um, for for that by by working with us and partnering with her Well said, well said. Well, again, folks, this has been a chat with Josh Weaver, Executive Vice President at Revolt, and we've been looking at the Revolt all-in-one solar power plant. Uh, as always, if you're getting good value from these videos that you watch on Solar Surge, make sure you give us a thumbs up uh, and go ahead and subscribe to the channel as well if you haven't done so already. That way, as we're going out to the different trade shows and conferences like this, you know, we can stay up to date with all the latest product and technology information uh, and share that with you as part of the audience. But that pretty much does it for today's video. As always, I'm Joe Ordia here, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.